Item. SCP-351. Object Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All copies of SCP-351 are to be stored on secure Foundation containment databases, with access only available to Mimetics Division personnel. If testing is performed, a blank copy of SCP-351 consisting solely of SCP-351-1 will be used to neutralize the anomaly's effects in the test subject and potentially compromised personnel. Bots IO Shannon and IO Minerva are programmed to routinely scan online websites for the appearances of SCP-351 copies. Found copies are to be downloaded then removed from the sites under standard online anomaly containment protocols. Mobile Task Force Greek letter Psi-13, EOT, has been tasked with halting mass memory alteration in the event SCP-351 affects large portions of the populace. Task force agents must follow standard mimetic quarantine protocols and are equipped with electronics that display the aforementioned blank copies, which must be viewed on a twice daily basis. Testing to determine the limitations of the anomaly's implanted memories is underway. Description SCP-351 is an ASCII plaintext text file containing a virulent mimetic agent, which implants false memories visualized as ASCII art 1 into human subjects that view the file. The primary component of the anomaly is SCP-351-1, a string of 30 characters which does not correspond to characters in any known encoding standard which converts the entire file into a mimetic vector. Additional text added to the file is the basis for the false memories SCP-351 implants. With the level of detail the text has corresponding to the level of detail subjects can recall from the memories all memories are recalled eidetically and are resistant to all amnestic treatments and effects. Copies of the file. SCP-351-A display the same properties. However, exposing subjects to SCP-351 or a copy of the file lacking text other than SCP-351-1. Hereafter blanks. Results in the memory being being replaced by a blank memory. Entirely removing it. This in turn serves as the primary method of removing the mimetic infection. Despite the clear recall, subjects report that the memories lack the immediacy and richness of their other memories. It is theorized that this is the result of the strings of text the memories are based on inherently lacking the sensory qualia normal memories are based on. Subjects mimetically compromised by the files. Hereafter SCP-351-B instances are capable of implanting their false memories into persons they associate with, such as friends or colleagues. Conversations of any medium involving an instance will result in the instance discussing memories from SCP-351, turning the conversation into a mimetic vector which affects all persons involved in it. These affected persons become further SCP-351-B instances, and can spread the meme in the same manner. Beyond the addition of previously non-existent memories, SCP-351-B experience few other cognitive effects. Instances behave as they would prior to infection when not in conversation with uninfected individuals and questioning regarding any ways SCP-351 memories conflict with actual memories is met with disregard. Symptoms of lethargy, anhedonia and apathy have been observed in SCP-351-B instances at significantly higher rates of incidence than in the unexposed population.